Hey, Freedom. Great to see you guys again. So this week, we're talking about no weapon from Isaiah 54, 17. The Lord began teaching me about this a few years ago by taking me to verse 16 first. And this is what it says. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. God is the one talking here. And he says, see, I am the one who created the craftsman, who fans the coals into a fire and for forges a weapon fit for its purpose. And I am the one who created the destroyer to destroy. And of course, it goes on to say, but I promise you that no weapon formed against you will succeed. So verse 16 makes it very plain. The enemy and his minions are creative beings. They're never going to overtake God. They're never going to out-strategize him. They're never going to get one over on him. It's not possible. So when we feel like a weapon that has been formed is prospering against us, the first place we need to go is our creator, also the one that initially created uh, the enemy. And we need to ask, we need to ask, what is the purpose here, Lord? Are you exposing something in my heart that we need to work on? Are you training me? Um, or do I need to uh, navigate this uh, to help others? There's, God will tell you. <laughs> God will help you. He wants you to come come to him. So the thing the Lord taught me also about uh, no weapon formed against me will prosper is that in this particular season, uh, a lot was going on. And the Lord told me if I'm living my life before him with my heart attitude is to obey God, even if I'm at wrestling, wrestling with God, I'm struggling in it, and I haven't succeeded yet, but my heart is, I want to get to the other side, and I'm working it out with him, then I don't have doors open for the enemy, and if I am not inviting the enemy in, if I'm not partnering with the enemy's way of doing things, or the world's ways of doing things, then that weapon cannot succeed, cannot. And uh, as, as a body at Freedom, when we individually, when I personally work through those times, I'm actually helping my brothers and sisters at Freedom. So there may be 20, 25 of us working through some things and really wrestling where a weapon's been formed against us. And when we break through and get to the other side, even if it's like personal attitudes and thought processes that I'm having to break in me, it actually helps others at freedom, even if I don't say anything, because it is actually pulling stuff out of the atmosphere. It is hindering the demonic realm. So it's very important that we go to God and ask when we recognize a weapon. How do we how do we handle this? And you know, one of the real common things too that would probably hit home with everyone is the people you live under the same roof with, the people you work with, or the people you go to school with. You know, there are some people that have got a way of like they poke you with <laughs> things they say or things they do, and it just agitates or um, disturbs you to some degree. And when those things are coming up, I've been learning instead of just shoving it in a box going, well, they always do that. Um, I don't like being around them. Instead of letting my attitudes and thoughts go south, <laughs> if I go to the Lord and I say, Lord, why is this begging the dog out of me? What is it? And most of the time he shows me an area in my heart that he wants to work on. And once I start letting him work on that and my responses to these agitations begin to change and I begin to live more undisturbed in those particular circumstances, it's just amazing. It, it gets to where I have peace 
I operate out of peace when those things come up. And my response to those people or those situations are different. And they're more like Christ. And I love that because that's a lot about what this life is. We are here individually and corporately as a body enforcing the perfect works, the perfect finished works of the cross. Jesus already did everything. We are navigating here and causing uh, our realm to begin to line up with God's way of doing things with the kingdom. So I just want to bless you today. And um, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you that you cause us to be more keenly aware of the things that you're, you're doing, of how you're working in our lives, of the things you want to cultivate. Lord, we just thank you that uh, you really made it easy to partner with you, that it's not hard on anything but our flesh. We're having to break maybe some uh, old ways of doing things, Lord, but we just thank you that you're always right there with us, helping us become better, helping us live the abundant life Jesus paid for us to live. And Lord, that that's progressive, that we live more of the abundant life today than we did yesterday. And we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that uh, we just develop more of a sense of joy in working through these processes in navigating with you, Lord. And we thank you for how you love us and how we love each other. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, you guys, see you soon.